And today I will be showing you how to treadmill train your dog. Um, why would we do that, you ask? Well, primarily because as trainers, what we see here is, is sometimes the number one contributor to poor behavior in an owner's dog is their lack of exercise. So we are constantly encouraging people to exercise their dogs more. Um, it helps keep their attitudes calmer and more well behaved if they've had an appropriate amount of exercise. And quite frankly, we normally don't meet their needs. So we've done a lot of treadmill training here at the local bark and it's time for you to learn how to do it as well. It uh, is not as hard as you may think, depending on the dog. I would say about 80 to 90% of dogs can be successfully treadmill trained. There are a few, however, that will absolutely refuse. And for those, you're gonna need to strap on your running shoes and get outdoors. Um, the treadmill works really great for inclement weather. If it's raining and you can't convince yourself to get out for a good walk, or the weather is too hot and you wanna avoid that, um, the treadmill can be a nice replacement for that. We do tell people it doesn't ever replace the walk, but it's a great supplement. We have some dogs who, um, need a treadmill before a walk. It makes it more pleasurable for their owner to walk their dog after they've jogged two or three miles on the treadmill. So today I have with me Emily. Emily is a cute little Karen Terrier who is in our boarding school program and she has a significant amount of energy so we're working towards treadmill training her. She's had very little exposure to it so far but I'll show you what we've done. The first stage in, in treadmill training is conditioning the dog to the treadmill and teaching them that it's an okay place to be. So we start that by luring sometimes or tossing treats up on it, depending on the dog. Depending on the dog, they may or may, may not be completely motivated. You might have to slowly bring them on, toss the treat just out of reach, see if they'll jump up on their own. I've already spent several minutes conditioning Emily to the treadmill, and by that what I mean is we're getting her on the treadmill, giving her some treats, not starting it yet, letting her experience the treadmill as something positive, allowing her to have the choice to get off it when she feels she would like to. Um, and by doing this, we can try to set the stage to make the treadmill a more positive experience for her. Um, once they begin to feel, once we turn the treadmill on and they begin to feel the ground moving under them, some dogs will have a little bit of a short panic attack. Um, the best thing you can do for them right then and there is just give them some firm support. I obviously have somebody helping me to encourage Emily in front by luring her with some treats. Some dogs will take treats very readily, others will not, they may be a little too nervous. So. The more time you take conditioning them to just getting used to getting on and off of the treadmill before you start it, typically the better the result will be. So I'll go about getting her back on and off the treadmill a few times and then we'll begin by starting the treadmill. We push start, we keep it at a very low level to begin with. Um, depending on the size of the dog, if you're treadmill training a large breed, you're going to want to get it up to about 2.0 miles per hour pretty quickly because that slow, slow pace that it starts at is almost so uncomfortable for them that it makes it worse. With a smaller breed, we can definitely stay at the one mile an hour that it starts at. Most treadmills start at one mile per hour. Um, and as they start to show that their body is relaxing and they're getting more comfortable, we can begin to increase the, spree, the speed. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, very nice. So she's starting to jump on it more willingly because she realizes that it isn't threatening to her. As she starts to feel it move, again, it may set us back a bit. If you were doing your, your training your own dog at home, you would want to stop right now after this phase and uh, give them a nice break and return maybe that afternoon or the next day to do the same thing. 
ultimately you want to take your time at this and condition your dog for uh, depending on the response anywhere from three to seven days of just getting on and off the treadmill comfortably it definitely is best to have a helper um, so that if your dog does get a little nervous um, they can help be there for for some extra support Good girl. so this next time I'll start the treadmill I'm gonna get um, a nice good grip on the leash and sort of anchor my hand somewhere on the treadmill I'm definitely not going to tie it to anything that would be very unsafe So you can see Emily's a little bit nervous, but she's getting calmer and more comfortable as she walks. We have obviously retrofitted our treadmill with, with um, somewhat of a gate in front of it so dogs can't jump um, or try to escape through the front. Good. So I'm going to stop the treadmill since she did so great and she got comfortable. Let her have a treat if she wants it. Let her get back off. Give her a second to relax and bring her back on again. Good girl. Once she's on the treadmill, although I'm giving her some supportive pressure on her collar, I'm trying to let the collar and leash remain as loose as possible so that as she's walking, she's not feeling like she's being choked to stay on it. So I give her a little bit of pressure sometimes to nudge her towards the center of the treadmill, and then I release it right away. Ultimately, a well-trained dog or a, a well-trained treadmill dog will um, run very comfortably on the treadmill without any pressure from a leash. Many of them will do it without a leash. Uh, typically what, what we'll do here at the local bar is give them maybe a cross tie so that they're, they're centered on the treadmill. And um, our number one rule here is they're never ever left unattended. Obviously if, if they lose their footing or they scramble, we wanna be right here to turn it off for them. Um, so it, it is extremely important, important if you decide to treadmill train your dog that you don't plan on doing it somewhere like the garage where you're going to leave them unattended. As the days progress for Emily, we'll continue to increase the speed and get her more comfortable, um, but we hope this provides her owner an outlet for her high energy. If you have any more questions or you would like your dog treadmill trained by us, please look at our website, localbark.com. And um, thanks for watching.